okay so welcome and in this session I'm going to give you an overview of the chapter 3 which is playing with numbers so let us quickly co go through the topics that we are going to discuss in this chapter first we discuss about factors and multiples so we first define what do we mean by factors what do we mean by multiples we take in some examples and we also see the various observations about factors and multiples and we will be discussing about a method to find out the factors for a given number and this we will be doing using some examples so that is going to be our first point of discussion then we discuss a very very important concept in mathematics and that is of prime numbers so we discuss what do we mean by a prime number what do we mean by a composite number and i will also be discussing a method to find prime numbers between 1 and 100 then our next discussion major part of the discussion will be on various tests which help us to check for divisibility of a number so what we'll be doing is that we'll, we'll see whether if we have a number can we find out whether it is divisible by 2 3 4 that is we will be checking the divisibility of a number from 2 to 11 that is by just having a look at the number we'll find out whether it is going to be divisible by any of these numbers from 2 to 11 and then we will continue our further discussion on common factors and common multiples and thereafter we I will give you some more divisibility rules for a given number and then we discuss a concept of the prime factorization what do we mean by prime factorization and in that I will be introducing you to the concept for factor 3 which is going to be a very important concept having done that we continue our further discussion to understand the concept of highest common factor also known as HCF and I will also discuss a method to find HCF for given numbers then I discuss the concept of lowest common multiple that is the LCM and what is the method to find LCM Having done that, we will conclude our chapter with the real life applications of HCF and LCM and that is definitely going to be the fun part. So having said that, I conclude this lecture here and see you soon in the further sessions.